I have happy. to confess, I'm so glad I'm off that medication. <laughs> you sure you feel better? I feel like me again. I feel like I've got myself back. Well, I'm glad to have you back. <laughs> it scared Mara, didn't it? I mean, you can tell me. I know it did. Mara's a pretty tough little girl. She can handle it. I just feel like I put her through so much. Too much. Let me tell you something. Whatever Mara has to cope with, she'll cope with. You know why? Because you've given her that. Everything she needs, you've given her, so she'll deal with it. Because you are her mother. I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> I just figured that we could use an extra car. We've got a lot of people here, you know? each other good night. You know that wasn't just a good night kiss. I don't know any such thing. Mindy, look at me when you say that. I don't know any such Why thing. Why are you doing this? Because you said to look at you. Why are you that. running away from me? I'm not. I'm sitting right here. Yeah, and you're blowing me off. Why? What's happened that I don't know about? Rick, 
stick to medicine, because you and psychology just don't mix. Mindy, don't forget, I know how your mind works. Oh, you do? Yes, that's why you wrap yourself up in best problems so much. You'll do anything to avoid dealing with how you feel about me, how you really feel about me. Now you know I feel about you. I just remembered I Mindy, have an you're appointment. Away again. No, I'm not. You feel the same way I do, and you're scared to death. That's the most ridiculous no, thing not. I've ever heard. You Heimlich maneuver, it's Danish. Brooke, no. Bauer. No right to switch my medication. You understand? No right. Deja vu. Have you lost your mind? Deja vu. You abducted me from the cafeteria. You just roll me in here, mumbling deja vu. You have lost your mind. Deja vu, boo boo. Stop saying that. Come on, you look around. Doesn't this uh, stuff look familiar? No, it's. It's empty. It's empty. Does it, it's empty. Dr. Bauer? All right, Minnie. Think back. You thinking? It's 1984. The West Wing of Cedar's just been dedicated. But something is wrong. Something is terribly wrong. Shots ring out. Chaos ensues. Warren Andrews has been hit by a bullet. But worst of all, the damn cafeteria is closed. Darcy kidnapped Beth. Philip and Lujak tried to save her. And you threw us in this utility closet to save our lives. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Until we fell into the hall right underneath my dad's feet. That was so embarrassing. See? You remember. Of course I remember, but this is not the same closet. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Those, that closet had these horrible green walls. These are totally different. Mindy, it may have been repainted, but it's the same closet. No, it's not. And these shelves are totally different, too. Mindy, doesn't it say something to you that you remember what happened six years ago? Doesn't it? Yeah, and I remember that it didn't have air conditioning either. See? You remember. See what? Uh, uh, okay, so maybe it's the same closet. Are, are you saying that this is our special place? That, that our special place is a utility closet? Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly a high and windy hill. No, but hell, it's our closet. So what happens at the end of the movie? We look at each other and say, well, at least we had our utility closet. <laughs> I mean, what kind of music goes with that? A bedpan symphony? No, Rick, I want a full orchestra with a big tree to stand under at sunset and a mansion in the distance, not a utility closet. You're changing the subject. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to tell you that this utility closet just doesn't cut it. Well, what about me? Are you saying that I don't cut it either? Can we please go? Now you're changing the subject. No, I'm not. I'm just hot and tired of this. Me too. And I also feel, Mindy, that we're more than just friends. I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, to say when that transition starts or how to handle it when it does. Are you having a heat stroke? We've been friends for such a long time, it's hard to get past that. I mean, I can't, it's not like I can come up to you in a bar and ask you to sign. Aries. We've been friends for such a long time, Mindy, it's... All we do is talk. It's like we don't even look each other in the eyes. Come on, Mindy. Think about it. I mean, does it make any sense to pass up something that we both might be looking for? I mean, just because it's embarrassing to tell your good friend that she's got gorgeous hair and the best smile in town. Commercial. You're, you're serious, aren't you? I mean, about us. She's slow, folks, but she's coming around. I just never thought. Well, that's because you never given yourself time to think. Just because we're good friends doesn't mean there's not more going on. For example. Son? Dad? As I was saying, doctor-patient relations here at Cedars have always been quite warm. Dr. Smith? Dr. Barrett? Dr. Johnson? 